Amen. I want to say good evening to all of you listening on the Tammy Radio broadcast. We thank God for each and every one of you and those that are on Facebook. God bless you. Amen. We're back once again on Men to Men Talk Back, the talk up show every Wednesday night starting at nine o'clock. We're just letting people get in on the radio, letting people get in on Facebook Live. And we ask everyone that's on Facebook Live to have their comments ready, amen, for the conversation tonight, amen, that we can help one another, amen, feed off of one another. Glory to God, amen. And before we go on, we want to say welcome to our co-host, amen, Pastor Carl Young. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hey. Good evening to you, sir. Always a blessing to be uh, to go before God's people and uh, gathering of God's people. Amen. So we could talk about what's going on in Atlanta from a two pastors from a, a Christian perspective. But we talk about things that um, most people don't want to talk about. But um, it's a good evening. Good to see you, Pastor. I'm looking forward to a great show. Amen. 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 And I'm looking forward to it too, Pastor. I want to say good evening to Minister Chris Morgan. Amen. Man of God. God bless you, sir. Uh, Tonight, our conversation for all of you. uh, Tonight, our topic is the division in the United States, in religion, in our government, and in our churches. We see division all across the land, all across the board. There's division in churches. There's division uh, in the government. And so we want to talk about that tonight. And we want you guys to share your comments so we can talk about your comments because I'm sure all of you are affected somehow, amen, some way about what's happening in America. Some some of us are, are, are working day in, day out, trying to make ends meet, trying to survive, but yet we are at a divided country. We're still divided here in America. And so before we go, we ask Pastor Carl to, to give us a word of prayer and then uh, we'll go back. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we honor you. We bless you. We give you the glory and we give you the honor, Lord God. And now, Lord God, as always, we repent for anything that we've done in Jesus' name, Lord God. And Father God, now let me and Pastor Nino decrease so the dime may be increased in our life, Lord God. Lord God, I ask the blessing upon all the radio listeners, everybody leaving comments, everybody leaving, uh, calling in on the phone line, Lord God. We just ask that you bless them, Lord God. And out of all things that we do this evening, Lord God, let us bring you the glory, Lord God. Let you be exalted, Lord God. Let you be glorified, Lord God. And we invite your presence on this line tonight, Lord yes. God. Come and dwell with your people. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Listen, I want to say good evening to Apostle Annette. God bless you, sister. Amen. Apostle Zun here. My brother Corey. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for all of you that has tuned in tonight. Uh, Brother uh, William, amen. God bless you. Uh, Sister Arlene is back in here. Uh, tonight, we want you guys to share your com- share your thoughts tonight. We want to, want you to comment tonight because there's a division in, in this United States, in religion, in government, <laughs> and in church. And we see this. But before we before we go into it, I want to read a script. I want to read some script two scriptures. Amen. First, I got to look up the uh, Matthew. I want to go to Matthew. Get your Bibles. Write your write this down. I want to go to the book of Matthew. Amen. The twelfth uh, chapter. Amen. We're gonna go to Matthew the twelfth chapter. Glory to God, because we wanted you to see, and you can write this down so you can look at it later for yourself. All right, Matthew, the 12th chapter, amen, and we're going to start with around verse number 22, let's go down to 22, all right, amen, all right, let's look at what it says here, amen, hold on one second, I think I got this uh, wrong right here, Um, hold on one second, all right. No, that ain't what that ain't what I want. I'm sorry. That ain't what I want. Scratch that. Proverbs. Amen. Alright, wanna go to Proverbs. Here we go. That's what I want. Amen. Proverbs uh twenty-nine chapter. Amen. Twenty-nine chapter of Proverbs. And I'm sure you know where I'm going. And let's go on to verse two. Let's see what we got here. Amen. Amen. 
I got this new uh, this new app here, and I'm trying I'm trying to to uh, get it down pat because you got to stroll it. Amen. Let's go to Proverbs 29 and at verse two. It says, "When the righteous watch that closely, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice." But, Amen. But watch this. But when the wicked <laughs> When the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Did y'all get that? Amen. I want you to get that into your spirit because we're talking about division in America. We see that people are hungry. We see that people are, are, are losing their jobs. We see that people can't uh, provide for their families, their heart, hardship in America. A lot of people don't have health insurance still today. And they, they, they walk around with, with ailments, but they can't afford to go to the doctor because people that has the money don't care about people or the government don't care about the people that don't have. And so and we're divided on decisions. We're divided in every way, fashion here in America. And the Bible is always true. The Bible said when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The people are at ease. When the righteous, amen, rule, people have, ha, you know, there's there's nothing that, that people has to fight for. When the righteous rule, amen. But look, when the wicked... <laughs> When the wicked rule, people mourn, we groaning, we complaining because there's wickedness in that White House. There's wickedness in our government, local government, and nobody cares about the next brother. We are divided. We are divided. And the Bible says a house that is divided can do what? Cannot stand. A, a, a house that's divided cannot stand, y'all. And we see a divided government. Congress today is still divided. And... um. The the Huff uh, the Huff Post says that the government uh, Congress is still failing. So this is what we see. This is what we see going on, y'all. And everybody's affected. Everybody is affected. We see this. U.S. officials they work to convince divided country uh, uh, Congress about a war possibility in Iran. When you divide it, nothing gets done. When 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 we see that. The government should be getting the counsel from the church, but yet we look to the government to rule and tell us everything we need to know. <laughs> they, they, we look for them to tell us how to, how we should go instead of looking to God. Mm -hmm. This is the whole thing about the division that we see with the church and the and and the government and 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 the church and the, and the religion or the government and religion. You know, the government said you can be who you want to be, but I know the name. But that's one God, <laughs> the Creator of everyone. <laughs> Amen. One God that's in control of all of this. Amen. So, so we got all of this stuff that's dividing us here in America. Religion. We got we got religion divisors because one group think that it's that their their doctrine is better than the next. Uh, you know, when it ain't but one God, and God said specifically one thing: "Be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye holy, <laughs> for I am holy." Amen. That's what God called us to be. He didn't call us to be anything else but to be holy. <laughs> Amen. But I'm going to give it to Pastor Carl. Amen. I just wanted to open up with that. Amen. As you guys begin to make comments. Amen. About this divided country that we're in. This divided um, nation and, and with church and everything. Because I, like I said, Pastor, uh, Pastor, the, the government should be li listening to the church. They should be getting counsel from the church. They should have the, the right and the right counsel. Not not no crookedness, but the right counsel. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Um, I want to reference what I'm getting ready to say, and that was an excellent scripture, Pastor, about when the right is are in authority. Yes. Amen. Because we don't need criminals in authority. Right. But also, I'm, I want to preference, I want to start off on the government. Right. I want to start off on the government. And in Mark 3 and 24, it says, very, very popular scripture. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Right. Okay, United States, if we are against each other and we are in division, we will not stand. Uh, if a house be divided against this house, uh, itself, the house cannot stand. So how is we, as the United States, as a, as a people, as a melting pot, as they like to call it, if we are not 
in agreement with each other, then guess what? We are not going to be able to stand. Right. And we are seeing that now in government. Right. Okay. Because one of the things that's really dividing us as far as government is concerned is parties and ideals. Right. Parties and ideals. Either you're a Democrat, an independent, or a Republican. Okay. I don't know who made that up, but that got to be the stupidest stuff ever. Uh -huh. Because what it, what it really is, is it's like teams. You know how you used to be on a playground and you used to pick teams? Okay, give me Pastor Nino. Right. Okay, okay, give me Brian Wilhouse. Okay, give me Sonya. Okay, you, you pick. So this is what happens. So regardless of not, if you're not in agreement with the team is doing because you're on the team, you still going to do what they want. Right. You still going to do what they want. So now we got two parties with different ideals. Right. We got two parties with different ideals, meaning they are divided, Pastor. Right. The Democrats and the Republicans, they are divided. Okay. So you mean to tell me that the leadership of this country is in division? Right. But they want us to not be in division. How can we not be in division when you're in division? Right. Each, each party putting each other down. Or you ain't doing this, and you ain't doing that, and we ain't this, and we ain't that, and the president ain't this, and he ain't that. So if, if, if the people at the very top are against each other, how can we succeed? Right, right. See, Pastor, they right. not, because guess what? They say, what does it say? When the righteous. Right. When the righteous. The righteous. Rule. Yes, sir. Okay. See, we got too, we got too many uh, politicians not righteous. Right. We got too many politicians looking to add to their bank account. Right. We got too many politicians that um they're, they're for their self. They'll do what what has to do as far as if it's going to benefit mm -hmm. and not benefit the people. Because if we really let's let's really be honest tonight, Pastor, if we really cared about our country, then there should be no veterans without no health insurance. Right, that's it. I don't Okay, how is it that we want to send money and outsource other things, but you got people who fought for this country's freedom don't got health insurance. Right. Now, now, to me, I don't understand that. Right. That don't make no sense. Well, veterans got to fight when they got their leg blowed off just to get some type of help. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? I know veterans personally who struggling because the United States, when they went overseas, they was all for it. Okay? So this is... This is the division that I'm talking about because right. the people at the pastor, there's no way that we should, and this, this is my opinion, no way that we should be sending money to other countries, taking care of other people when we got, have you been, have you seen them pigs in LA, all them homeless people on the street in right. LA, pastor? Right, no, I it's haven't like seen, but I'm sure. It's like a third world country. It's like a third world country, some of these homeless people mm. walking around here. You mean to tell me the most powerful nation in the world got homeless people? Okay, we got homeless people. Okay, we got uh, we got some cities in the United States that just the murder rate is off the chain. Okay, okay, I do, I do agree with let's make America great again. But you know what's going to make America great again? Us not being divided. Right. Us not being divided, and that's one thing why I have such a uh, a camaraderie with my military buddies, Pastor. Right. Uh huh. Because when we we was Mexican, black, white. Italian, it, we was uh, Filipino, we had all Milton Pot, but guess what? When we put that uniform on, we know what the time was. Right. Ain't no division. Right. We all got the same color on, we all going by the same rules. Right. Ain't no me. Right. Ain't no me, myself, and I. Right. We got one objective. We got one objective. And so, um, and, and see, Pastor, that's why I know that this thing can work. Because of my military experience as far as division. Right. We have all these people from different backgrounds, from the country, from the city. Some people who didn't, uh, do they spoke different languages. But guess what, Pastor? We went in the war zones and all the way across the sea, stayed on the water for three, four months and made it. Right. And was, it was a unit to the point that we got so tight, Pastor, if you mess with one of us, no matter what, you fighting all of us. Right, exactly. You fighting all of us. Pastor, exactly. you don't want no division. And what, I mean, for you to be racial or for you to try to put yourself above everybody else, that, that don't happen in the military, bro. And if it do happen, there's going to be consequences. Right. We all wear the same color. We all follow the same rules. And it worked. It worked, Pastor. 
So my thing is, why can't we do this in government? Right, right. Why do we need? Why do we? Somebody explain to me on the comment. I want to hear. I want to hear from y'all. Somebody in 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 because I might not know. Somebody that's listening or want to type in. Somebody tell me why we got three uh, different parties: Republican, right. Democrat, and Independent. Tell me what does that accomplish? Now it accomplished something from different ideals. Okay, right. but we on this radio show, we're not a party. But guess what? I guarantee you, we can come up with some logical solutions to a situation. Hey, Amen. I'm gonna turn that bug over to you, Pastor. Hey, Amen, Pastor. You said it right, man. Um, you know, it's a simple thing. You know, because the Bible says charity first starts at what home. And when we got people, we selling millions of dollars for aid in other countries, selling millions and millions of dollars. But we got people on the street, and like you said, we got our gov, our uh. Uh, war veterans and people that need help, people that need medicine, people that can't even get a job. Some of them, so, you know, they having a hard time getting the benefits. Some of them, and, and, and so you know, why should our vet? Why are our vet vets on the street? You know, it, it, that's 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 you know, when you fight, you know, when, when you look back at David's army, you know, David army took David took care of his people. You know, they, they didn't, they won't sit around, lay it around and no, well, America, we don't do that. And like you said, it's a simple, it's a simple thing. If, if we, if we come together, we can, we can do the impossible, but, but here's the thing. We're going to always stay divided. This is what I'm starting to see because Democrats, Republicans and independents and, you know, uh, it keeps us divided f forever. <laughs> One got to fight against the next. You, you see it. What they, the Republicans come out, then the Democrats gonna come out. The Democrats come out, then the Republicans come out, and, and they fighting with one another. But yet, don't you? If you in the army, don't you supposed to? Regardless if you are Hispanic or a, Na a Native American or black or white, don't you supposed to fight for this country? If you are in the army, in the U.S. Army military, yes. So you you're not gonna be in the United States military and fighting with with Saudi Arabia. You ain't gonna be fighting with the uh, Russia, the enemy. You ain't gonna do that. So, so, so why do, why, why do we still have this in place? Because guess what? They're going to tell you because the Democrats is for you the, and, and, and the Republicans against you. <laughs> the Republicans don't care nothing about nothing but the rich. And they say all this stuff. But at the end of the day, we've had plenty of, of uh, Democrats in office. And, and, I'm st and I'm still, you know, at a point where I, I want better. But 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 that they, they, they didn't change anything because uh, Barack Obama was the Democrat in the end. We still were short on getting the uh, some of the um, con construction loans. Uh, I mean, the construction jobs and, and uh, some of the bids and, and things of that sort. We still at the bottom of the poll, so it don't matter that you're a Democrat or Republican because both of them people that are in office, Pastor, the Democrats, if they are if they are in office and the majority, they still supposed to do what's best for the entire nation of people. Just That's like right. just like the Republicans. The Republicans get in office, they don't supposed to be just their people, but they supposed to have the American people interest at heart. So there if they if they do that, if they do that, simple concept of of, of the American people hire them to do a job then why are we still fighting with Democrats and Republicans? If you know what I'm saying? If so, it don't make sense for us. But somebody put that in place a long time ago to keep us to keep us divided. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the listen, the majority has power, right? Right? The majority has power. So if the people was united enough to say we're going to get one rule, one government. We're going to have one one party, and that's it. It's going to be for the people. And if y'all ain't doing right, we're going to come together, fire you, and we're going to get somebody else. That be, that means that the people have too much power. So what they do is they keep on keeping us divided by playing these games of antics, you know, one against the other, but and nothing getting done, Pastor. Nothing is getting done. Uh, Got a comment here. I want to take a minute to read it. It said, this brother, brother Fred said, some of that is fake fighting because they're on the same squad. See what I'm talking about? This brother got sense. He understand it. He right there with us. Amen. They're on the same squad depending on what policies on the table. Don't kid yourself. That's right. Hey, man, you're right. I agree with you. Fake fighting. Just like Perosi. What's her name? Perosi? 
P- Pelosi. From Nancy Pelosi. 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 Nancy Pelosi. Boy, she uh-huh. put up a good fight, don't she? She talk about Trump, boy, like she a, like she a just a bloodhound thirsty. But guess what? At the end of the day, she don't want to push the re- uh, impeachment. <laughs> she don't want to push the impeachment. <laughs> She talking all that noise, barking like barking like she a big dog on the porch, but she under the house with the puppies because she ain't saying nothing. <laughs> she not saying a thing. Amen. She not saying nothing. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. I I, I agree with that. Yeah. Um. So we we basically got people like I said at the top in position that's lawmakers. That's lawmakers. That's dividing the country on purpose. Right. Man, it, yeah. Because what, what else could it be? Right. But you know what the real, if we want to just be absolutely real about it, nobody really is in control. Right. We, we already know that there is, a, there is a spiritual agenda. There is a spiritual agenda against the United States. Okay. And Babylon will soon fall. Right. Okay. So all this stuff is, 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 is scriptural. Right. All this stuff is scriptural, Pastor. So we know that we got an enemy. His job is to divide and conquer. Okay, mm-hmm. He seeks to destroy and kill. And one of the best ways he tries to do it at anything, even in marriages, families, whatever, division. Right. Division will always uh, separate people. Uh-huh. Separate. It's, been separating, it's been separating people for years, Pastor. It's been, sep- it's, it's been separating people for years. Uh, division. And, right. they, and they they're doing the same thing in the government because why is, why are there a party? Okay, so each person just draws to a party and they stick with it whether it's right or wrong. Right, <laughs> right. Okay, so right. we see we see we just see this division in, in the government. Okay, so I want to move on to churches, if we may, Pastor. Yeah, I want to move on to churches, the division in churches. Uh-huh. Okay. And we know one of the biggest reasons, Pastor, and, and Pastor, you know, this just gets you heated, right? <laughs> what I'm about to say. <laughs> Go ahead. This gets you heated. Go ahead. It's denominations. Uh, denominations. It's killing us. Denominations. It's killing us. Denominations. Uh-huh. <laughs> denominations. Um, once again, because what it does is in church, what denominations do is it trains you to think that this 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 style of preaching or this form of religion is the best. Right. So now you you can have somebody who's anointed preaching the true word right. because they're not Baptist, then you know, they don't know what they're talking about. Right. Or if they're non denominational or they fivefold or whatever, and you and, 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 a, and somebody else is Baptist, now you don't want to agree with them. Right. But right. The denomination pastor has pretty much Separated us. It has, man. Okay. It separated has. us. It has. Separated us. Right. Um. Because we know, and, and 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 you know, we here in Franklin County, it's a strong Baptist influence. Right. It's a strong Baptist influence. It is. So, and Pastor, what you always say is so true about my mom went there, so your mom go there, and my family went there, and your family went there. So it's it's almost like a family. So it, it could be like a family is now a denomination. Right. Because my family went there, your family, my sister, my cousin, my auntie, and my 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 um uh, my old um, auntie helped form the church. So you just go there on that, on merit. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything necessarily wrong with a denomination. What I'm saying when it comes in is when it separates the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. When it separates the body of Christ. When the body of Christ can't come in agreement when we can't come in agreement that that um that influences uh uh well it, it helps the enemy because right. guess what when it, it clearly says when the house is divided it, it can't stand right so we got all these people all these all these people that say right but we can't get on one accord but we all love jesus right we all love jesus now, now the centerpiece the centerpiece of all religion as far as the believers it's Jesus Christ died on the cross, right? Died for our sins, rose on the third day with all power. Now, most Christians, that's what we preach, right? So if we all believe in that, Pastor, why is there a denomination? Why is there separation, Pastor? Right. Why we can't get an agreement because I'm not um, Presbyterian, okay? So we, and, and if, but if we do do it, 
But if we do do it, guess what, Pastor? It's fake in a lot of times. Uh -huh. If somebody can t honestly tell me on the line that there is not division in churches, churches do not like each other, some churches don't just not in agreement, they won't support each other. And like I said before, I would like to see 10,000 Christians in, in, um, in North Carolina get together and pray. Right. Do you know how we would shake the heavens? Man. If 10,000 people, Christians in North Carolina, right. came in agreement. Right. And you know what? And, and, and you could disagree with me on this, Pastor, but I'm going to turn this back over to you when I say this. I know when that hurricane was coming up towards Raleigh and North Carolina in that area, I seen so many people on Facebook saying, let's pray against this storm. Let's pray against this storm. Yep. Everybody was, amen, 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 let's pray. And guess what happened? That joker turned, didn't it? Man, it turned, that yes, joker, sir. I don't care what you, that joker turned because we was getting ready to get tore up by that storm. Right. They said they'd never seen no storm turn like that. Guess why? Because prayer. Right. But why we only got a prayer when it's an emergency? Right. Why can't we come on and, uh, together and get and get on one accord and begin to pray and turn this country around, Christians? Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. You know, when 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 we don't want a court, man, we can move them. We can move mountains. We can move. We can move all those obstacles in our way. But let me go back and touch on first. Uh, first, we want to before I make my comment. Amen. I want to say good evening. Amen to Brother Dorian. God bless you, sir. And uh, I got a few other people. Um, Pastor, my uh, uh, classmate. Uh, Brother Keith King, he's in here. Uh, woman of God, uh, I think Elder Eleanor is in here. Um, uh, Evangelist Ellis, good, good evening, amen, to all of you. Uh, listen, Pastor, you're so right, man. Um, I can't stand denominations because I see that it is tearing God's people apart. When, when I sit and hear people say that, well, I don't want to go over there with them holy folks, it ain't nothing to that. It ain't nothing to running around. It ain't nothing to talking in tongues. You know, and, and I heard back in the day growing up, people say, well, if you ain't even a Baptist, you're going to hell. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and I understand, I see where it's coming. You know, it's coming from tradition that has been passed down from generations to generations to generations. And everybody, if you know, feel like they they got the best doctrine, and 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 if, and I heard some people say, you know, I'm 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 Baptist born. No, I'm born in in iniquity, but I'm shaped by the blessings of God. I'm I'm, I'm renewed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, some people they say it so firm. I'm a I'm a born but baptized Baptist believer. <laughs> How what in the world is that, Pastor? <laughs> what is that? You know. And it divides us. You know, the, the holy people, everybody talking about one another. <laughs> they looking over there. They, they looking at the clock watchers. <laughs> Y'all, they sit there and it's just so much. But if we come together, amen, if we come together, glory to God, then we, we, can, we, can, we can do what God wants us to do. We can't be effective if we are divided. We can't be effective to do nothing. Because the, the, this denomination, Pastor, you know I hate it. I can't stand it because, like I said, the, the the divide is is shown. It's shown there on Sunday. You know, yes, they might visit one or two times. Yes, that's true. We might visit one another, but there are some that won't come to your church because you you might be apostolic, or you might be Pentecostal, or you might be Methodist, or you might be uh, Presbyterian. You know, they don't come. They won't come. <laughs> you know, to your church because of that. Religious, somebody said religious tradition. That's right. And I want to read a comment. Um, let me back up here. Uh, this brother, brother Chris, amen, Minister Chris, he said the only army that will ever um, have true oneness uh, and with objective uh, to do the will of the Father, F Father is the true body of, cr of Christ being on one accord, not a denomination. That's so true. Not a denomination. Real people of God, because God didn't. God didn't create no denominations. And if you guys that are in denominations, which you know, I, I say I'm non-denominational, which that is a denomination, but. You know, the Spirit spoke to me about non-denomination because it's not saying that I'm, I'm either or, but I'm a believer, follower of, of God, a follower of Christ. 
amen, and believing in the scripture, in the scriptures, and I read it from Genesis to Revelation. There's no, there's no group of people that that that's uh, supposed to be, um, you know, Baptist or Methodist. Or, it's either you was wicked <laughs> or you was godly. Either either God had to punish you for your wickedness and you turned around and you start praising Him, or you got you got defeated, <laughs> you got destroyed. It was not no, you know, all of this stuff that that you see. Yes, they had uh, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the Sad, you know, all of them. Yeah. But they was groups of people. <laughs> they was people. <laughs> they was people, man. So we got this divide. But let me read the scripture here and then we'll go to a comment. All right. Let's 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 look at this right here in the book. Let me make sure I got it right here. Amen. All right. Listen to this. The Bible says here. In 1 Peter, I want you guys to write that down. 1 Peter uh, 1 and verse 15, it says, But as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy. For I am holy. It didn't say be ye holy for I'm Presbyterian, Baptist, or Methodist, or Pentecostal, or, 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 or Seventh Day Adventist, <laughs> or Jehovah Witness. It ain't tell you to be all that. It says because it's written. Be ye holy. That's what he said to be. He didn't say be all this other stuff. He didn't say be the traditional stuff that grandma and grandpa and them been carrying on. He said, do what? Be ye holy, for I'm holy. That's what God has said today. He said, be ye holy. He's calling us to be holy, so that is the denomination holy. He said, be ye holy, for I'm holy. That's what he said. He didn't say be all this other stuff that's out here today. Sun, moon, and all this. He didn't tell us, he didn't tell us to be that. Amen. So let me read a comment here. Amen. The, uh, Brother Brother James said they scared to break the chains. Amen. They are. They scared to break the chains of tradition. Amen. They scared to get really in a place because there are some place that, don't, that 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 got to worship. You know, because worship is 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 an expression. Amen. That that expression to God. You know, that outpouring. I don't have to say a word, but but I'm just gonna meditate. I'm gonna worship God in my spirit. Amen. Then there's there's a praise. Amen. Where, where I got to get God Amen. give God some praise. I got to give him a shout for for for, for healing me, for for break making that breakthrough happen, for opening that door that 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 they shut in my face. Uh, uh, that's a, a a praise dance. Amen. But then you know, like I said, we we look at we look at some that uh that don't don't want to get to a place of really worship. They go to a place because it's Sunday. Amen. And that's the, that's what the, that's what the, uh uh, uh, denominations will do sometimes. It's too much competition. Amen. You just you see these comments, Pastor. Too much competition. That's mm-hmm. right. Everybody feel like they got the best doctor. It ain't but it ain't but one uh, one gospel. <laughs> ain't but one gospel. That's the it. gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you teach it the way that Jesus teach it, what did Jesus teach? You know, when I went to uh, when I went to uh, theological school, Pastor. <laughs> you know, they teach us that the. Um, that the gospel of Jesus is the life, death, and burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But Jesus didn't teach his death. He didn't teach his uh, uh, resurrection. What did Jesus teach? Jesus taught that the kingdom of God is at hand. So we got to teach what, what Jesus taught. Jesus said he got to teach for us to get prepared so when we leave this world we'll be ready to cross over we ain't preaching nothing so people be prepared to cross over because people are dying and not ready and prepared to cross over into their eternal life because they ain't teaching nothing because a lot of this stuff goes back to tradition (laughs) competition too much competition and uh i'm gonna read another comment and i'm gonna get back to you uh, Sister Sonia said, um, because most church uh, don't want to submit to the word of God, this, that's when division comes. That's right, Pastor. Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Did you hear that right there? Because most church don't want to submit to the word of God. Not my word, not your word, Pastor. The word of God. They don't want to submit to the word of God. <laughs> they don't want to do that. <laughs> they don't want to do that. So, therefore, they continue to live in tradition state, you know, and I'm reminded that if I had went to a denominational church, I would have many followers in this area 
but because I teach and preach the word of God, you know what I'm saying? Like in 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 in, in theolo theological school, they teach you to get prepare your ser sermons, like eight 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 sermons, four you know four to eight sermons, and have them prepared. But now, as the Spirit spoke to me, the Spirit began mm -hmm. to, to teach me what I need to say and say what I need to say, and I don't need to go to the script. All I need to do is study the word. All I need to do is study the word. Amen. And let him feed me. Let that Holy Spirit feed me. And because, I, you know, that's the tradition state, you know, and I like that. They don't want to submit. They don't want to submit. This is why it's easy for them to 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 look at you sideways when you when you go into a a, a praise shout and they looking at you strange like you shouldn't even do it. <laughs> they looking at you like you shouldn't even do it. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You know, when we become, hey amen, when we come in agreement with God, uh, we will come in agreement with each other. That's right. <laughs> that's that's plain and simple. Go ahead, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I mean, we got some uh, we got some good stuff on here. Like uh, Mr. Chris said, proclaiming a denomination which is not even in the word of God. It's not. If God didn't say it, why do we proclaim it? So that, that comes back to the thing. Where did denominations come from? Go ahead, Pastor. You got something? I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna tell you where it come. Well, I'm gonna tell you where it come from. It came from. Let's use me and you for an example. Now you came up with with the way that the word should be. I didn't agree with it. Now I'm mad with you, and you know what? You say, well, you really want me to understand, but but I don't want to listen. So guess what you do? You start over here in your denomination, and I say, you know what? I'm gonna teach it a whole nother way because I don't like the way Pastor Carl teaches. So I'm gonna teach it different. And I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over here and call something else. That's where it comes from division. That's where it started. Division. Woo! Ain't that something? We're talking about division, and that's where it started. That's where it started. When men be, had division had a division mind. When they began to have division with each other, way back with, with full time, but when it first created, that's what that's where it was. <laughs> Everybody mad. But go ahead, Pastor. Hey Amen. Um um, the uh, Apostle Branch and Nat said the body is struggling to be holy. Now, now that's the truth. Yeah. Because we here's the thing. See, we we want to we want a form of Christ. Yeah, yeah. So when you got a form or a appearance of Christ, and you see, being holy means you gotta be disciplined. Right. See, you gotta be disciplined. See, being holy means I can't have no side tick. That's it. I can't have no side tick, Pastor. Yeah. Being holy mean I can't I can't still go to the strip club. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't leave the pool pit and then a couple of days later sneak to the strip club, smoke a little weed, get my drink on. You know what I'm saying? Then go see Apostle that's the body of Christ right now. We want to they want to dress like the world. They want to talk like the world. They want to look like the world. So in a form, that is a form of division in itself. Because what you do is you confuse people. Right. Now, I just seen Pastor, I know I didn't see just seeing Pastor Nino preach that fire word. Now I see Pastor Nino in the strip club. That they, they gonna be like, what is this? Uh-huh. What is this? Amen. Amen. Uh Sister Veronica said, and they do the same thing Sunday after Sunday. No right. growth. Preaching is a uh, feel-good word. Hey, um, but, they but, don't last longer than you can get get them on the door. I get them out the door, <laughs> 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 right. because you know why? You know why? Uh, yeah, Mister Veronica. People don't want to tell you. Don't want you to tell them that they wrong. Right. See, people go to church sometimes, and the reason that they they not growing is because number one, either the church ain't preaching, delivering, or number two, they don't they not receiving. Right. I'm just going to church for a look. Right. I'm just going to put my big hat on and my suit on, right. and I'm just going to go to church. Right. Amen. I'm just going to go to church. Hey, Pastor, why I'm, um, why I'm still going on some of these uh, comments? Evangelist Ellis wants you to uh, find. Can you find 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 4, and 9? She specifically said you. Um, James Harris said, uh, say that man of God. Two saints are the remnant of God. Amen. Uh, Sister Veronica, once again, division and confusion. Um, Sister Sonia, uh, talking about, uh, nope, you can't continue. Let the Holy Ghost lead you with the right now word. Amen. Amen. A fresh Pastor. word. Yeah. You need a fresh word. All right. And, and you Amen. know what? And, and, and like you were saying, uh, 
what is they teaching? Because I, we, this has been last year. Uh, we was on our way to either a second service. I think it was a second service, right? The brother was dressed down with his sh suit on, his tie. He had his, I mean, just came out of church. Came out of the store with a, with a case of 24 cases. <laughs> just left there. <laughs> How you just leave there? And you going to the store. Ain't no conviction. They, didn't nothing come across you that you didn't need to hold out from going to buy that, that case, but you got the whole suit on? I mean, you dressed apart. And the person in the church in the car was dressed up too. But and, and how how can you? You know, when I when I was back in the day, when I was going through that transition, you know, when I still when I went there and got that word. And when I, I felt uncomfortable when I went back to do the same thing again. I felt uncomfortable, Pastor. It just was uncomfortable in my spirit. You know, when, when, remember I told y'all the, the testimony that, when you know, I used to cuss a lot. But, and then when God was changing me, you know, that cussing, it, when I slipped up, you know, I practiced trying not to. And it slipped up. I mean, I'm, I, 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 was, I, was, I was vexing. I was vexing my spirit. I was, I, I was just, I was, you know, hurting my spirit that I spoke that word. And I repented. I, I repented. I repented. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help me. And that eventually, I, I didn't cuss anymore. <laughs> but it was it was natural. It was a natural thing at the while. All right, but look, let me go here real quick, Pastor. First Corinthians four and nine, right? It says, For I think that God has set forth us the apostles last, and it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Amen. We are fools for Christ's sake, but ye are wise in Christ. We are weak, but ye are strong. Amen. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Amen. You know, that, that's what happened. You know, we, when you sold out for Christ, when you are, are teaching and preaching this word of God, amen, you are despised. But when you sugarcoat, when you uh, play antics, when you got games, amen, you are put on a pedestal. You are uh, put, put up high. <laughs> you know, people, everybody won't be down with you <laughs> when you when you ain't talking nothing. You know, when you can talk, tell jokes all service long, <laughs> people love you to death. But when you start hitting on sin, when you see them young girls pregnant with no baby, I mean, with no father, they pregnant. They got a baby in there, but they ain't got no 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 husband and they got a boyfriend and he ain't do he ain't doing nothing. And they don't preach on that. But hey, <laughs> what's. They, they love them. They love these preachers, that pastor. They love them. They love them. They love them. You know, but the apostles, they was persecuted. The apostles of Christ was persecuted. You understand? That's what we see going on. Amen. Can you still see me, pastor? Yeah, I see you. Okay, I, I think I said Sister Veronica said I was off. Maybe I was off. Okay, let me can, see. Can you still see me? Yeah, okay. I, I see you good. I'm just trying okay, to catch up. Right. I'm just catching up with these. Uh, before, hey, before you start, Pastor, I want you to. Uh, I want to ask everybody that's on here. Please uh, invite uh, right now some more people in the last few minutes. We got a few more minutes, but we got a few more minutes before we stop. Hey, Amen. Share this on your page. Invite your people to tune in. Uh, Minister Chris Morgan said, Pro uh, "Proclamation, uh, proclaiming a." Denomination which is not even in the word. I think you read, read that, Pastor Carl. I'm just trying to catch up. Amen. The apostle said, we, apostle says he don't see me either, Pastor. Oh, okay, I don't know, Pastor. I see you. You moving your your headphones. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know if it's them or not, but uh, I see you good. Yeah, I'll go back to you. Okay. I want to go back to to uh, Apostle Annette's uh, comment. The body is struggling to be holy, and that's that's a true statement, man. You know, that's a true statement. That, that's the problem. You know, we, 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 we go to church, like Pastor said, Pastor Carl said, just to show our hats, our dress, just to look cute. You know, because look at Mother's Day, the church is filled up to the brim. And you know what, what else the, the church is filled up at, <laughs> Pastor? What's that? On Youth Day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On youth day. Uh -huh. Now I'm 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 taking notice of churches that y'all can take notice too that on third Sunday is normally the youth day chosen Sunday. You go to these denominational churches and watch on, on the third Sunday when the youth the youth participate, 
in the in the service. It's filled to the brim. But then on the next Sunday, you can you you can sit in the way you want to sit. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. the body is struggling Amen. to be holy. That's a that's that's true statement. That's a true statement. Hey hey hey, pastor. Go ahead. I'm going to I'm go, I'm going to log off and come back in because they saying they can't hear or see me. Okay. So I'm going to log off and then watch for me to join back in. All right. All right. Listen, Pastor Carl, okay. get ready to log off. And and they do the same thing Sunday after Sunday. That's Sister uh, uh, Minister Veronica. Yes, that's right. Same thing. Same thing. Got the clicks. You know, they got the clicks. They they got, they got all of all of the formatics. It's a, it's sad. It's sad. You know, uh, every every Sunday. <laughs> Amen. That's it. Every Sunday. Uh. I read that. Uh, oh, oh, see, uh, I think Pastor had gave me the wrong. Uh, I had got the wrong uh, scripture. Amen. Uh, you said uh, you said First Corinthians three and four. Uh, four. Uh, it says, uh, "For a while one said, I am Paul; another, and another, I am Apollos. Are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man." I have planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to read that. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth, he that watereth are one. You see, I like that. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. I I got the seed and you got the fertilizer. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you got the seed. Amen. And, and I got the, I'll put the water on it. Amen. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. That's that's a true statement. Amen. That's true. Amen. For for we are laborers. That's right. We are laborers. Amen. Together with God. And if, and if we're going to be together with God, then we shouldn't be d- divided in denominations. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, but it d- divides us. Amen. It divides us. Amen. And we can't go, we can't plant a garden divided. We can't go out here in the vineyard and do anything divided. Amen. All right. So for we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husband. Husband. Amen. Uh, husband dry. Ye are God's building. Okay. Amen. Everything that we do is is God. Amen. Waiting on Pastor Carl to come back in. Let me add him back in real quick here, guys. Amen. Uh oh, no answer from the live. I don't know what's going on with this tonight. Uh, the devil's a liar. Amen. The devil is a liar. Yeah, I'm trying to bring you back in, sir. There's a lot of comments. Um, see here. All right, Pastor Carl. I'm trying to bring you back in. All right, you need to go back. You need to go back off and then come back. Amen. Amen. I don't know if y'all y'all can hear me. I, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not. Pastor Carl, go back out and come back in, sir. But 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 again, you know, we're talking about division tonight for those that are tuned in. Amen. You know, we're talking about the church, the church being divided. We're talking about how denominations has divided us. Yeah, go back, go back out and then come back in. Amen. Amen, brother James. Amen. We can't do nothing divided. You're right. We can't we can't even feed the uh, homeless. We can't even build a homeless shelter in Franklin County. We can't even we can't even do anything for our kids because we're so divided in the in, in Franklin County. We can't do a thing. We can't do a thing. And 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 and, and when we start to build stuff, it, we it, you know, the church, the church should be able to buy property, right? The church should be able to buy property. Amen. Like to 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 house homeless, but you know what? We can't. We got fifty churches. I can, I hear you. Okay. Amen. We have fifty churches in Franklin County. Amen. But we what happened? We can't. We can't. We can't come together because everybody want to know. Well, who gonna be in charge of it? God is in charge of it. Let us just do our part. Amen. Let me bring Pastor Carl. Amen. God bless you, brother Lee. Amen. Hold on one second. Let me let me see if I can get Pastor Carl back in back in here. 
I think, there you go. Let me see. I can add them now. There we go. We adding now. Yeah, man. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. If, if we was talking about fighting and, 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 and how to, how to rob and, you know, all this stuff that Facebook allowed, you, we wouldn't have no problem. We wouldn't have a problem with Facebook at all. But when we, when Facebook read the headlines, we got static. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, pastor, welcome back, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, listen, we always have a problem. You know, the other day I was on last, what, a couple weeks ago, I was filming uh, the, the, the the drowning that had in Lewisburg, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't never glitch. <laughs> I didn't glitch one time. <laughs> Everything was good. <laughs> but but as soon as we get to doing these doing these nine o'clock, man, everything began to get static. Everything. Hey man, uh, you, you know why? You know why, Pastor? What? Yes, yeah, sir. You know why? Because we're gonna look at this spiritually. Why? But we're gonna have our own studio soon. Oh yeah. But this this is the problem. Is that whenever something is going forward and it's giving God the glory, and the anointing is on it, and God said, "What, what is really happening now?" What at the beginning of the show it wasn't happening, but once everybody start coming in agreement. Make a comment, and we all came in agreement. That's right. That's right. Everybody, everybody come in agreement. Yep. Now the devil got to get to work. Bro. Right, got to get to Once work. Once we came in agreement, then all the static. I'm, I'm getting off the line. Can't come back in. See, that is the power of agreement. Right. The, that the devil got to get. He don't want everybody on this line in agreement. But the devil is a liar. The right. devil is a liar, Pastor. And so uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep pushing this. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, Pastor, we're going to be in studio together. That's it. We're going to have our thing. We got our backdrop. We got plans. That's it. You know it. what I'm saying? We're going to go forward with this radio show. Right. So y'all just stick with us. Great topic tonight. Amen. Division. Amen. And we might, Pastor, I don't know if we, is you satisfied, but we might have to do it again next Wednesday hey, because hey, yeah. there's been a lot of comments. Right. Um, we didn't get to of, it. Um, Right, we didn't even get to our last look, to our last subject. Look, let so me we tell might you, want to look doing it again next week. Right, because uh, uh, Apostle um, and that said we um, need to go back and discuss um, the government because there was a glitch. I, hey, I, I, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Trump, Trump, he got the, he got him working on it. He got, him, he got they, them guys is talking something good. <laughs> them guys are talking something good. Pastor Carl, Pastor Nino, they they talking some good stuff. Hey, hey, hey them them pastors right there, they talking too real. <laughs> Amen. That's it. Hey, them pastors talking too real. So, so yes, we're going to come back and entertain it again next week because we want you guys to continue because this is going to help somebody. You know, we're saying like we divide it and, 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 um, you know, so, so we're looking at the force. We're looking at a, also the government divide, the church divide, but there are people in our families that divide each other against each other. It's, you know, this stuff is so deep. This stuff so, so deep and we can talk about it for so long. Amen. Uh, amen. God bless your brother James. Uh, Pastor, uh, he said a great topic. Um, he got in late. No problem, brother. Amen. We'll, me and Pastor Carl be back in next week. Amen. Uh, Pastor, you got anything else you want to say before we hit, hit out of here? Uh, uh, yeah, I see my, uh, my sister, Lisa Hinton. It, she just tuned in from the hospital. God bless you, ma'am. Thanks for joining the show. Um, We're we going to keep on, but you know something about uh, Pastor, right. we might we might have to pick a fast day for this show too, because it's just getting to that point where we see we getting a lot of um, spiritual attack. Because when we was doing our other show for two years, we ain't hardly had no trouble. Right? You see what I'm saying? Right. But now all of a sudden, every show got something to it. Like even last week, I couldn't come in. Right? You know what I'm saying? Just little glitches, but um. So we just we just we we got plans. We get ready to take the show to the next level. Uh, we we just appreciate everybody that's supporting us. Amen. We 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 just really appreciate we appreciate y'all coming because we want to hear from y'all too. We want to hear from y'all too because a lot of y'all made some awesome points. Amen. Some awesome points to really help uh, keep the show going. So you know we just we just bless y'all. Amen. And um, at this time, I'm just gonna let Pastor Nino. Um, close it out but y'all tune in next wednesday amen we're gonna be right here amen hey. give them god the glory 
Amen, Pastor. We want you guys to tune in next week at 9 o'clock. We want to thank our radio listeners also that are tuned in tonight. Uh, if you missed it, um, you can go back on the on the radio. We still broadcasting on the radio on Our Heart Radio. Shout out to all our Our Heart Radio listeners and those are listening on SoundCloud. And, and Pastor, I would just want to thank those that continue to stick in with us. Amen. Evangelist um, Antoinette McCormick. She continued to have her show on Monday night. And we want to thank um, Pastor Brenda um, Wilson. Amen. She continued to to support and she continued to have her show. And uh, also CWM Radio, uh, Apostle Michael Branch. We want to thank all of all of them. Amen. For sh- for uh, broadcasting on this radio show. And um, also we want to just uh, before we go, I, I did say that I was going to uh, start uh, recognizing a a great uh, place to get your tires. Amen. Murph, Murray's, Murray's Tires in Raleigh, North Carolina will give you the best deal, the best deal, the best price. But most of all, what sold me on Mary, Murray's Tires in Raleigh was the customer service and the fact that they have a no profanity on a sign that, that says if any profanity, they will be escorted off the property. I love it. <laughs> And guess what? I got the owner's personal sale number because I had a little minute uh, issue. That brother gave me his number. I called him the owner of Murray's Tire in Raleigh. I called him the other day. I went and got me some 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 uh, some shoes on my truck, and he called me to make sure I was satisfied. How many owners? How many owners of a business that do that? Amen. And I mean, I'm not saying he might give you his number, but I got it. And uh, I told him I want to give him a shout out. That's that's uh, Murray's Tire in um, in Raleigh. So you 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 know you go there. They got they they do lineups. They do everything, and they're and, and they are so so uh, courteous with customer service. So and let them know you. Uh, I sent you up there. Amen. Let them know uh, that we sent them that we sent you up there on the TMA Radio broadcast. Uh, also, we want to continue to shout out um, the restaurant in um, Henderson, North Carolina. Uh, that 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 two sisters uh op- own and operate, amen. Um, they they got wonderful, wonderful, wonderful food. A taste of soul. That's the name of the restaurant. A taste of soul, amen. Let them know that you heard it on the TMA radio broadcast. And and anybody that's listening, if you have a business, if you have a service, you need to email us, amen. Somebody put my email address up up for them. If you got it, if you know it, if not, you can inbox me. Your business, your what, what you selling, what you uh, what kind of service you have, and we are, we announce that at the end of the shows or at the beginning of the shows. Amen. Every time we on, amen. Uh, we still getting comments, Pastor. <laughs> we still getting a lot of comments, Doc. I'm gonna have to cut it, y'all. I want to say thank God for the show tonight, and I want you guys to meet us back here on uh, next week at uh, nine o'clock. All right. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Hey, Pastor, love you, man. God bless you, sir. All right. I see you this Friday, Pastor. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh.